Welcome, and thank you for downloading The 8 Biggest Problems, brought to you by Cadence Management Corporation. For over 25 years, Cadence has been helping organizations around the world to make a difference through project management success. Today, Cadence is widely recognized as a leading provider of project management training, consulting services, and supporting tools. Join Cadence President John Patton as interviewed by colleague Scott Allison in this episode of The 8 Biggest Problems. John, what is problem three? I see it all over the world, Scott, and people uh, talk about it and they shake their heads when they say it. And that is, our projects start slowly. And, you know, it's, it's almost like a surprise every time. You get the project in January and all of a sudden it's March and you're asking yourself, where did the time go? So, John, when you talk to organizations and project teams about a slow start, what do they say? A lot of the same thing over and over again. There's a lot of time. There isn't a lot of time. I've heard both of those. Uh, We don't know much about the project. We don't have the people yet. Uh, There are questions and issues that haven't been answered. Uh, Even with uh, complaints about the work that was done in previous phases, it's inadequate, it's incomplete. And the bottom line here is no pace has been established for the project early on. And so time flies. We're busy, we're active, but there's no real progress being made on the project. And how about uh, a solution if we have those slow starts? This solution is one that project managers who are listening can implement immediately. Number one, get pace going with weekly status meetings. Even if you only have three people out of the ten people you're going to need for your project team, meet with them weekly as soon as they get assigned. And then project managers write a weekly status report for the first eight weeks of the project. I don't always, I don't usually recommend that a status report be done weekly. In fact, I recommend they be done monthly. However, in the beginning of the project, it helps us establish pace by writing a weekly status report. Now, on that status report, we're asking project managers to write a weekly status report for the first eight weeks of the project. It's not something we recommend on an ongoing basis. We recommend monthly status reports, but a written status report weekly answering the following four questions. What did we do last week? What are we going to do next week? What are the problems? And what are we doing about the problems? Now, this what are we going to do next week becomes promises that the project manager is making to the organization. And that creates a sense of urgency towards solving those particular problems or taking those particular actions. And um, it gives us also a sense of momentum when we can say each week what we did in the previous week. With those team members that are in uh, the status meetings, we want to record every question, every issue that they raise. They have low context on the project when they join, and they will see things that they won't see later on because they're making assumptions about the project. So these are valuable questions and issues. Uh, We'll assign those same people to investigate them, and we're gathering then much more quickly a lot of information about the project. We're taking uh, action. We're moving forward. And then we'll go to formal planning when we have 80% of the team Uh, appointed. Now, it really does follow the Pareto rule here. You will find that you can get 80% of your team members much more quickly than the final 20%. And we will start formal planning when we get 80% of the team, and we'll incorporate uh, uh, the 20% when they're appointed. We'll bring them up to speed uh, one on uh, one uh, if necessary. Now, the the last piece of, of really accelerating the project is something that I've seen the best of the project managers do. And that is, they are aggressive with early deliveries of tasks from the beginning of the project. Let's say a task is due on Friday. 
If it finishes on Wednesday, usually uh, the person who did that task doesn't tell the project manager that it was done early until the next uh, status meeting, and they say it was done on time. So the project manager needs to establish a tone of reporting immediately whenever a task is completed. That gives the project manager the opportunity of moving up dependent tasks. And uh, even though they may have to negotiate to do that, we can start building a time reserve that we can use up uh, in problem solving as we get down towards the end of the project. So creating this reserve of time through early deliveries of tasks enables us to have time to solve these more difficult problems that will arrive and still finish this project on time. Thank you for listening to The 8 Biggest Problems. For more information on this series or on Cadence Management Corporation training and support for your projects, visit Cadence on the web at www.cadencemc.com. All the tools mentioned in this series are available to download for free. This and all Cadence podcasts are available for free in the iTunes store. Download iTunes today at www.apple.com slash iTunes. Join us next week for the next episode of The 8 Biggest Problems from Cadence Management Corporation. Thank you, and we wish you only the greatest project success.